Welcome everyone to Bonifab Custom. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make aluminum honeycomb knife scales. Let's get right into it. So aluminum honeycomb. Now the product that I have here is a little bit different than ones that you may see somewhere else. It comes as an aluminum block almost. So it's machinable. You can put this in your vise, square it up, or put a certain shape to it before it becomes the aluminum honeycomb. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, you can see it here. It looks like it's a solid piece, but it's actually looks like a, like a slinky. But if I pull it out, just like that, now you can see it's the aluminum honeycomb. Really cool stuff. And after it's been pulled out, you can't really put it back to uh, this form again. So it's good to find out what you need, what size before you do anything with this or pull it out to become this aluminum honeycomb. It's super strong, um, this vertical direction. And what it's usually used for is um, inside, say, some sort of uh, aerospace industry uh, they sandwich carbon fiber or Kevlar to make uh, really strong, um, uh, solid pieces, not really solid pieces, but uh, structures that have a lot of strength um, and have some thickness to it. But what I'm using it for is to make some knife scales. I've seen really cool knife scales online and they use a lot of this honeycomb inside. and. I'm going to show you how I use it um, in my knife scales. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to pull it out to the, the desired length. Now this stuff here actually, or one to a hundred ratio for every say one thou thickness, it actually grows a hundred thou. So it's this little block here actually extends about 30 feet. So you get a lot of this material in, in a small little piece. So you don't need much to uh, do a whole lot of knife scales with this. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pull some out and I'm going to get a mold, uh, something I've machined, and I'm going to use that inside uh, so I can put some epoxy in it. Say I'm going to put some epoxy with some coloring or some flakes or something like that. And I'll show you how I do that. So for the mold, um, you can, and I've done it before, 3D print a mold. Just got to make sure you have enough draft on it so you can get it out. Uh, this one here is some uh, Delrin material. So it's a non-stick material uh, to epoxy. And then for, say, some color, I use really stuff from the dollar store. These flakes, they come in all different ki kinds of colors. And I'm gonna have this uh, green flake here and I'll mix that in and I'll, I'll make it a two-tone. And then I use this uh, epoxy, this uh, crystal clear epoxy. And it's just mixed at a, a two to one ratio. So right out of the mold, you can see um, it's really rough on the top because the mold was only so deep. It's just over half an inch. The bottom, really nice color to it, but you don't see the, the um, aluminum honeycomb. 
So what I have to do is I got to sand this down, sand this side too, until I have that aluminum honeycomb exposed. And I'll do a little bit of polishing just to visualize what the pattern on it looks like or the colors so I can use it as a knife scale. So that's after a little bit of sanding and a little bit of polishing. Looks pretty nice. Um, I recommend if you do a knife scale from this um, and you cut something out and you want to finish it with like a high gloss, then you're probably going to want to, um, you can polish the epoxy, but if you clear coat it after, it really shows the depth of uh, the color and the, the flakes inside and the aluminum honeycomb. And um, the aluminum honeycomb doesn't necessarily have to be pulled out all the way. It can be crinkled in certain spots just to add a little bit more texture to it. But uh, overall, the aluminum honeycomb turns out really nice for uh, knife scales. Now it's time to uh, take this and I'm going to be putting it on a knife that uh, I'm going to be building. So stay tuned for another video of me using the uh, aluminum epoxy filled honeycomb. Thanks everyone for watching Bonifab Custom as we made these really cool aluminum honeycomb with epoxy knife scales. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want to get some more information on this, uh, shoot me a message or email me at bonifabcustom at gmail.com. Thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe and push that button for notifications for more fabrication and for forging videos. Thanks.